Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Seeking Dubai. So in today's video, what I would really like to do is talk about the incredible city of Abu Dhabi. Now, we all know Abu Dhabi as a patron of the arts and culture, and uh, we all know that it's a capital city. It's one of the most important cities in the world in terms of its economic and soft power influence. And Abu Dhabi's land area, as you can see in perspective to the entire Emirates, this is the capital city over here, and it controls 10% of the world's oil, 5% of its natural gas. Two of the world's largest sovereign wealth funds are based in Abu Dhabi. We've got the large, some of the largest banks in the region. We've got the largest stock exchange. And what's been happening more in Abu Dhabi is the economy is diversifying. It's the fastest growing economy in the entire MENA region. I think that came out a few months ago. Now with Abu Dhabi, two things are happening. One, all that, all that economic power continues to attract global hedge funds, investment banks, political thought leaders as well. And the second thing that it's doing is that there's an incredible amount of innovative companies that are being built in Abu Dhabi. And they're related to AI, life sciences, healthcare, uh, sustainability. And if you're watching the news, you're going to know that there's so much innovation coming out of this city and they're attracting a lot of global talent. And so what's happening now is that this city is evolving very, very rapidly. And a lot of people are familiar with all the facts I just said and, and are keen on exploring investments there. But, you know, it's a new city. It's not as well known as Dubai. So what I want to do in this video is kind of just break down Abu Dhabi. So by the end of this video, you should have a pretty decent understanding of how the real estate market over there kind of works and functions. And then I'll talk about two of the specific islands like Yas Island and Sadiat Island and the kind of real estate that's being developed over there and why we believe that there's clearly much greater value for money right now and better opportunities to buy real prime unique real estate in these two islands. Uh, and, and these are opportunities that, you know, anyone who is looking at Dubai should also explore because the growth of Dubai is not isolated. It's, it's a larger story of the Emirates and the entire region itself. So that's the idea for this video. And so what I'll do is I'll go over some slides and just try to break down, uh, you know, some of the things that, you know, we're kind of pointing out to clients more and more these days. OK, so let's just look at this map here first and try to understand how Abu Dhabi is shaped. So everything that I've highlighted here in black, this is the main city. This is the old part of the Abu Dhabi, uh, which a lot of it has been redeveloped over the years as well. Over here at the corner, this is where the seat of power is. This is where the palaces are, a lot of the ruling district. You've got the, the main business districts here along the sea. Uh, and then you've got a port over here. And so what Abu Dhabi have done since the early 2000s is they've, they've developed a plan to build their city very organically and use the gifts of nature that they have. Because as you can see, you know, this is some amazing waters, mangrove forests, this incredible inlet. This is the main one over here which has islands on both sides and and that's where they're developing a lot of the real estate so all these islands are all now connected through incredible infrastructure networks and uh, all of these islands have different kinds of plans so it's not a rush to build like you see here in dubai right a lot of abu dhabi is just being built in a very nice and organic manner the main islands to look at are reem and murray island which are over here this is the business district. This is where you have the Cleveland Clinic as well. You've got a lot of the major banks, office buildings, and this is like a downtown type of area. Then we have Sadiat Island, which is like the crown jewel of all these islands. It's where you've got the most luxurious real estate, the cultural district, and it just connects through the financial district and the main city in minutes through this highway network. Uh, we've got Ramhan Island, which was launched by Mr. Alabar of Imar, right? But through his other company called Eagle Heights. And here you've got these incredibly beautiful villas being built. Uh, very close to Yas Island. Now, Yas Island is the best known of all the islands. That's where you've got around 25 million people visiting there every single year. And uh, we're going to talk about Yas Island in a bit more detail, but this is one of the greatest concentrations of entertainment in one place anywhere in the region. We've got the airport here in the back, and then from here, from Yas Island, you're looking at about a 45 minute drive into the bay. So now what I want to do is talk about two of these islands in a bit more detail, like Sadiat and Yas Island. Okay, so let me kind of break down Sadiat Island first. And then we'll talk about Yas Island. So with Sadiat, this is, it's like triangular shaped. It connects rapidly through the business districts and the main city. This is where you have the most luxurious real estate in Abu Dhabi. So over here on the island, what you're going to find is if you visit there is parts of it are already mature, especially the hotels and resorts near the beach. You've got a golf course, you've got villas, and these were all sold in the previous uh, real estate cycle. So this is the older part of the island. And along this beach, you also have some apartments. You have a Nobu Residences, which is going to be launched here in the coming weeks. So that's going to be really exciting. But what makes Sadiat Island truly special is the cultural district, which is located here. 
And so if you visit the cultural district right now, you've got the Louvre Museum, you've got the Abrahamic Family House. The latter is a truly special initi initiative. And, and I think, especially in the times we live in, it's definitely worth visiting. Now, if you zoom into the cultural district, what they've been doing over the past year and a half, two years, is they've been developing this part of, of the island, right? These are low-rise luxury residential buildings, which are all walking distance from the museums. So you've got a couple of office buildings here under construction, a couple of more hotels. Uh, you've got a cube-shaped mall right in the center. And then all around it are apartment buildings launched and completely sold out over the past year, year and a half. So every few months, they're going to have a new building kind of release over here. Uh, so most of this district has been launched and sold out. You've got these buildings that are expected to come in the future. So if Sadiat Island, after understanding the feasibilities of Abu Dhabi and you understand Sadiat a bit more and you would like to explore investing here, then these are the future launches that you should be kind of ready for. And uh, if you get in touch with us, you know, we can help guide you through that process and execute for you when the time does come for that. So recently, one of the launches that took place here is the Louvre Abu Dhabi residences. And over here, one bedrooms started from 2.5 million uh, and uh, the payment plan was 40% payable on handover. Okay, so that's the cultural district. And then this is the marina district of Sadia Island. This hasn't really been developed as yet. Uh, and then this area highlighted here in green, that is where you have the lagoons district. And over here, you have four, five, and six bedroom villas that have been sold out. Uh, currently, they have about 20 to 30 villas which they're selling at incredible payment plans. So this part of the district, what you have is it's built along these natural mangrove forests and they're going to have walkways over here. It's all connected through central parks with incredible amount of facilities. Uh, and then, of course, look at the location you're in. You're on, on an island which is connecting rapidly through this bridge into the business districts and the main city. So this is really, really prime real estate. And so if you are a potential buyer right now, a four bedroom villa would cost you around eight million. A five bedroom starts from around nine million dirhams. You've got large built up areas and plot sizes. The payment plan is absolutely amazing. You're paying 30 percent during construction, 70 percent during handover. Okay, so that's a summary of Sadiat, and now let's talk about Yas Island. So Yas Island is the best known island of Abu Dhabi. You've got 25 million people visiting here every single year. And why are they visiting? Because you've got the greatest concentration of entertainment anywhere in the Middle East. You've got the four major theme parks, all of which host some kind of world record. You've got Climb, which is indoor rock climbing, and then you've got indoor skydiving as well. You've got one of the 50 most beautiful golf courses in the world. You've got the F1 circuit, you've got Etihad Arena, which hosts all sorts of concerts and sporting events. Uh, and, and so the real estate, so there's a lot happening on this island. This island started back in the early 2000s, so it's come a long way. Uh, the top half of the island, which is called Yas East, has a lot of townhouses and some apartments as well. So this part is more mature. In the Yas West, which has the entertainment uh, districts, that's where you've got limited low-rise apartment complexes. Now, if you were a buyer today, there's two options to look at. You've got some limited apartments here near the golf course on the Yas Golf Collection, and you've got a project here called Gardenia Bay, which is right on the canal. And so over here, it's a complex of around 20, 24 buildings. Uh, everything that you're seeing in green is pretty much launched and already sold out. And what the developer Aldar is doing right now is they're selling these two buildings, which are the best location with the natural beach right along the canal so this is what's selling right now one bedroom start from around 1.5 million two bedrooms start from around 2.2 million you've got an incredible payment plan where you're paying 50 percent during construction and 50 percent on handover which is in 2027. so if you own over here you get the same benefits like i mentioned before you get the same benefits like owning in dubai you've got golden visa two million dirhams of investment you can resell your property at 20 percent once you pay 20 percent of the total value you have uh, two percent uh, registration fees instead of 4%, so that also helps. So a lot of things really add up to make you know investing in Yas Island and Sadiat Island really, really unique. And if you're looking at the same kind of budgets and you're coming to Dubai, you're not going to get as much uh, of a unique value proposition as you're getting in Abu Dhabi right now. Abu Dhabi is a fast, fast growing city, and so you're going to start seeing much more volume and interest as that understanding of the city's fundamentals and its connectivity to the Bay uh, and the world, right, continues at a rapid, rapid pace. So that's why we're really excited about Abu Dhabi and we wanted to put this video out just to help you understand the real estate markets there in a brief 
uh, way. And I hope that, you know, if you're interested and excited about learning more about Abu Dhabi, please consider getting in touch with us. Our number's in the description box. Uh, you can send us a WhatsApp link. We can add you to our WhatsApp groups and our Discord channels. And that way you're getting more of a connection on, you know, on, on certain trends and analysis that we put out from time to time. Okay, so thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it added value to you and we look forward to hearing from you as well. Thank you.